In this one, I'll be loading yet another AOSP project known as YARP on my OnePlus. This ROM is a bit finickier than others, but once you see it, it makes a lot more sense. I did run into a few issues though, so I'll go through those at the end. Some prep for this one, you need to make sure your PC has ADB and fastboot. The guide will be in the description if you haven't done this yet. Ensure that Android 11 has at least previously been installed and that USB debugging and OEM unlock are enabled in the developer options. The downloads we need will be linked in the description. You'll need Go, Payload Dumper Go and the ROM for your particular device. With that out the way, our first step is to unlock the bootloader. If you're already unlocked, feel free to jump to the next chapter. A reminder that this will clear all your data, so be sure you have backups and don't wipe out anything you'll miss. Connect your device via USB, open your ADB folder, then type cmd in the folder path and launch the command window. Then type adb reboot bootloader. This will reboot your device into fastboot mode. Then we want to type fastboot devices. This should come back with a device ID, confirming that it has a connection. If you get an error here, you'll need to double check your ADB and fastboot setup. Then we type fastboot OEM unlock and complete the prompts on your phone. Once the restart is completed, the bootloader is now unlocked. As your device has been wiped, quickly run through the setup. Then enable USB debugging to continue. Now we get to the fun part. Starting off with a little PC work. First off, install Go, which we previously downloaded. Extract Payload Dumper Go. To keep it simple, I put this in its own folder. Now extract the ROM, also in its own folder. Part of the ROM extract is a file called payload.bin. Move this to the payload folder. Type cmd in the file path of the payload dumper folder, then type payload-dumper-go.exe space payload.bin which is just the name of the payload exe file and then the payload file. This can take a little while to work through and will eventually spit out an extracted folder in your payload folder. Now we jump to the ADB platform tools folder and type cmd in the file path to launch the command window. Ensure your device is connected and drop it back into fastboot mode with ADB reboot bootloader. Then we want to type fastboot flash boot, then a space, then drag the boot.img file from the extracted folder into the command window to link to the file directly. Ensure the command window is active by clicking on it, then hitting enter. If you have a 7 or 7 Pro, you can skip the recovery loading step, but for the 7T and 7T Pro, you'll also need to type fastboot flash recovery, then a space, then drag the recovery.img file from the extracted folder, then hit enter. Some instructions will go through flashing each of these remaining modules individually, but I'm too lazy for that. Now put your device into recovery mode, then scroll down to apply update via ADB. In our command window, type ADB sideload, then a space, then we drag our entire ROM zip file in, like the previous. Then press enter. Chill out while that runs through. Apparently an error at 47% can happen, which will be successful, but mine ran all the way through. Next, perform a factory reset in your recovery. and reboot into your shiny new ROM. Now, a few errors I came across in my multiple failures with this. First off, my initial copy of Payload Dumper didn't work for me. I assumed being on a 64-bit AMD machine would have me using that. 
but it was the Windows 386 file that was the winner. Next, I got an error when loading the boot image with cannot determine image file name for boot.img. This was due to my command being wrong. I initially was used to typing fastboot flash, then the file name. So fastboot flash boot.img. But the actual command should be fastboot flash boot boot.img. So this applies to other files also. My last issue was an error pop-up with the disk image file is corrupted when hitting enter on one of the flash commands. This isn't anything wrong with your ROM, but the .image file still being highlighted so your PC tries to launch it. Click on your command window you entered the command on, then press enter to execute. Bit of effort, but hopefully now you feel even closer to your OnePlus than ever before. Cheers for watching guys. If you found this helpful, please consider chucking us a like and sub. Also, a review of Yarp as a daily driver is coming, unless it's already floating around on screen now. If not, why not check out how Pixel Experience runs on a OnePlus instead?